see. So the Colossi were heading towards the Vulgus Fortress. If the inversion took place there, it would not be unusual to detect a large amount of energy. No wonder the Colossi were drawn there. Descendant, we can definitely use this to our advantage. According to what we know so far, if we apply the inversion process to the inverted Ironheart, in theory, that Ironheart will be completely destroyed through particle-antiparticle annihilation. This is the fastest and most certain method of destroying the Ironheart that we currently know of. The only drawback is that it will also destroy everything around it. But we can use this to our tactical advantage. If the operation is a success, the Vulgus will have nowhere to return to. Descendant, if you cannot retrieve the Ironheart from the White Knight Gulch, you must make a decision regarding this alternative plan while it is still viable. Please discuss it with HQ. It will be a difficult decision, but everyone will need to be in agreement. Alpha, these are the details of the operation that the Guide has laid out. What do you think? Enzo, this isn't an easy decision to make. But it's not like we have any other option. Let's at least assemble everyone to discuss this. First of all, the Guide's operational plan provides many tactical advantages. The majority of the Vulgus forces have already been dispatched to the White Knight Gulch, and Corel isn't aware of what happened in Hagios, thanks to the long-range jamming signals established by Jaber. If this situation continues, we will be able to lay siege to the fortress and Corel will be none the wiser. There has never been a more ideal moment to attack the Vulgus Fortress since the beginning of this war, and the chance may never come again. However, if our goal is not just to attack, but to destroy an Ironheart, this will not be enough. If we pull back our forces from the White Knight Gulch and behave as if we have another strategy in mind, that should attract Corel's attention. We need a foolproof way to lure them in, much like how Corel ensnared us with the White Knight Gulch operation. In other words, this is a plan that requires someone willing to face death, to act as bait, all while protecting the Ironheart and distracting Corel. I realize I am asking for someone to sacrifice themselves. And as commander, I can't bring myself to give such a merciless order. What if someone volunteers? Enzo? Alpha the Descendants can act as bait. If we deploy an unprecedented number of Descendants to the front, that will be more than enough to distract Corel. Corel's also aware that the Descendants are humanity's last hope so he's going to relish trying to squash our last stand. The fact that he's approaching slowly, like a dark cloud without warping, that shows that he believes he's already won the war. And with Corel's attention drawn elsewhere, if we send some of the descendants to the Vulgus Fortress and destroy the Ironheart, we'll be able to turn the tide of war. The manifestation of Archean descendants doesn't just mean we have to be powerful weapons. As humanity's last hope, we should sow the seeds of victory. Now, the majority of the descendants, including me, will engage in battle at the White Knight Gulch to buy some time. While Ajax, his team, and the rest of the descendants will be deployed to the Vulgus Fortress. Awaiting your approval, Alpha. All right. You win. Carry out the operation. Let's get this done and destroy the Ironheart. On one condition. You must all return safely and tell the Guide to look after the Descendants. Understood. I wish everyone good luck at the White Knight Gulch front. Don't worry. This is great. I've always wanted to have a go at Corel. <laughs> Get in line, kid. There is a line, you know. I'd like to cut in front of you as well. Enzo, please take care of yourself. Remember our promise. There is no way I'll forget. Don't worry. We'll win. It seems everyone has steeled their resolve. 
Everyone's arche is glowing. I doubt that even the ancestors anticipated this moment. I'm so happy to have met humans with RK like yours. Despite my limitations as an AI, I believe I understand what courage is now. All right. Descendant, I'll accompany you to the Vulgus Fortress. We must locate the inversion facility there and overload the Ironheart to destroy it. I know we can do this, Descendant. I will be with you the entire way. This is off topic, but uh, aren't you all cold? My battlesuit has a built-in heating function. It was designed for void expedition missions. Huh. I'm actually a little warm. <sighs> I'm jealous. The Volgus Fortress. We knew such command facilities existed, but we never had any information about their sizes or exact locations. Our terrain scanner never detected them, and as they were deep within Volgus territory, it was impossible to send any recon squads. Seeing them up close and personal now, they're pretty imposing. <laughs> if I ever go back to being a military academy professor, I'd like to write a paper about this fortress. But there's no need for us to be intimidated. Once we've destroyed the Ironheart, the tide of war and history will turn in our favor. All right, infiltration team, let's get to it. Our primary goal is to infiltrate where the Volgus signals are the weakest and locate the source of inverted energy. Unfortunately, the guide can only detect the general energy scattered throughout the area. And because we're in a massive energy field, it's like being lost in fog. It'll be difficult to find the source. So, we need to do reconnaissance around the fortress and gather information about the source of the inverted energy. It's going to be an extremely dangerous mission. Good luck, all of you. The survival of humanity depends on it. In order to destroy the Ironheart, we have to locate the Inversion Facility. If we find the source of the inverted energy, we should find the related facility. The Guide is connected to the search drone, and I need you to escort it. It has to be protected. The communications frequencies from the surrounding area are causing interference. They must be coming from the Volgus Communications Facility. We'd be able to sweep a larger area by connecting the search drone to the Volgus comms facility, wouldn't we? With my abilities, it's more than possible. Good. Escort the drone to the comms facility.
I will sync the communications facility to the drone. It won't take long, but the drone will still need to be protected. potential locations. The nearest one is east. show high energy levels. I'll track them. The area is already full of inverted energy. But the bugs that were closest to the source must have been exposed to higher levels of it. We need to gather biosamples of the nearby Vulgus. By investigating those, and comparing them with those of Vulgus from each region, we can pinpoint potential areas. It's mine.
Enemy forces are heading your way. You'll have to focus on defense for the moment. The Balkis have targeted the samples. Be careful. in inverted energy around you. Where are you now? I was investigating the wreck of a Vulcan ship, and I think I've stirred up a hornet's nest. I need support. Lubbock, how far out are you? Wait right there. should never have sent Lepic off by himself. My bad. Hey, these Volgus punks are responding really quickly. Looks as if their commander isn't to be taken lightly. Let's eliminate the defense forces here first, then secure the gate that leads to the wrecked ship. I really hope Lepic can withstand it until then. Captain Survival, you need to hold them off until we get there. You don't have to tell me. If I die... The 44th Grenadiers will be completely wiped out. We need to decrypt the security code in order to open the enemy gate. I'll lure the main enemy forces to create a diversion. You need to get the gate's security algorithm. Volga's reinforcements are arriving. Hurry! suspiciously.
one I see coming up. Can you see the data box? That's where our target is. Here come the enemy reinforcements. There's a lot of them. Algorithm obtained. Well done. Smooth as ice. Eliminating the enemy's defense will attract their attention and create an opportunity for Lepic. That location there seems to be one of the main strongholds for enemy munitions transport. We might be able to kill two birds with one stone.
Use the enemy terminal to lure the Volgas to your location. They'll come at you in droves, so be prepared. You'll have to hold them off and buy as much time as possible. Spotted an enemy squad closing in on your location. Be careful. out. A high-level Volgus has been detected. once you're inside signal range. Good luck.
enemy forces have noticed their signals being jammed. You can't let them restore it. Reinforcements are closing in. Be careful. My shield is down. The enemy is putting up a lot of resistance means they're preoccupied. That's good for Lepic. to obtain important information from the wrecked ship. The inversion device must be somewhere around here. Mm. Descendant, the Volga ship in front of you appears to have crash-landed on its way to Ingress. The flight log has been completely erased, but the date of when it ends is close to the date when the Volgus first appeared. 
What is also important is that this ship was loaded with huge, powerful energy equipment. At first I thought it was the ship's engine or power source, but I soon found that theory to be incorrect. Do you remember when the Hagios Prime Hand's ruins erupted with radiant heat? This ship is similar. The central part has a thick coating that can absorb radiant heat. Such a measure would not have been necessary unless inversion technology was involved. That means that this ship was equipped with an inversion device. Descendant, I believe I know where it might have been installed, if the device has not been destroyed or removed from the ship. I'll send the potential location to your receive. Try looking there, Descendant. The location that the guide sent is full of Volga signals. Let's spread out and take control of the area. Now it's my turn, you Volgus bastards. See? The Volgus power grid blankets that area. Since we don't know which defense facility those bastards are gonna get up and running, let's just lay waste to all of them. units with high voltage fuses. The fuses you find, boom, blow up the generator.
grenade throw. Seems like a great idea. Reinforcements are headed your way. They've also deployed elite units. Engage them carefully. How dare they break my shield? Our supply to the enemy has been cut off. Incredible. We've got a lot of fortress defense units coming here. Viesa, Lepic, can you take care of them? The rest of you, continue with the attack mission. Okay, I'll blow everything up. Let's not blow up allies, John. I'm loading. is important to the enemy as well. Not a bad idea to thin them out here while we're at it. Enemy reinforcements detected. Engaging.
main facility defense force has arrived. Garrison forces are pretty tough. Don't worry about us. Focus on your own electric duties, Professor. Once you locate the inversion facility, let's finish this once and for all. Now that we have entered the facility, I can clearly feel powerful inverted energy. I can even detect Ironheart particles. The inversion process here. That's good news. So we can destroy the Iron Heart here then? I hope this ends well. Descendant, I detect inverted energy coming from that direction. It appears we definitely won't need the radiant heat absorption coating here. I understand why they moved the equipment here from the ship. This is an excellent place to cool it. But there is something odd about it too. Considering the high temperatures of the inverted energy we observed in Hagios, it is impossible that a glacial cave like this could have stayed intact throughout the process. It does not even show signs of melting and reforming. Sorry, but there's no time to play detective. A large Volgus force is headed your way. system like this isn't that complicated. The problem is that this system is set up to be controlled externally, just like in a prison. The 
Volga's commander said something about guarding. Something's not right. I have accessed the system that is linked to this facility via the terminal. I'll try to discover anything I can. certain that this is the inversion machine that was loaded onto the ship. But everything is destroyed. What happened here? And there's nothing we can do? Wait. They left a surveillance record in the facility database. I'll look into it. process here. That's why the traces of energy were so weak. There is a more powerful facility called the Inversion Furnace somewhere. The Inversion process must have been completed there. Guide, right now getting out of here safely is priority number one. Locating the Inversion Furnace comes second. Understood. I will try to find somewhere to link to the emergency transmission signal.
destroying descendants. You're just like your pathetic predecessors. I'll kill you just like I killed them. from descendants at each front. Eugen, does anyone need to be evacuated from the White Knight Gulch? We can't get a full picture on what's happening in the combat zones. Valmy, use your waterways and check on the injured. Roger that. Submerging. Descendant, thank the heavens your injury is not serious. 
I received the report from Ajax's team. Honestly, when I first saw that abandoned device, I thought it was all over. But then, we discovered another facility by investigating the first one. An inversion furnace. HQ has also identified a converter outside its typical range through a terrain scan. Perhaps we'll find clues related to the furnace there. No. It has to be there. The only way to turn the tide of this war now is to destroy the Ironheart. We must find the inversion furnace and finish the operation as soon as possible, before Karel realizes. Wait! It's Kyle! Nell, patch him through! Go ahead, Kyle. Our troops will arrive in Albion soon. We're systematically withdrawing forces from the front line. Everyone has defended calmly and well, executed the planned retreats, and bought us time. The number of casualties is lower than expected. We're approaching the final moments. We've received a report that Corell has descended from his ship. Kyle, Marcus and the Investigative Corps are headed your way. Their support should help you hold out a little longer. I'm grateful to Marcus, but we plan on fighting using only the power of the Descendants from now on. We're here to achieve victory, not take everyone down with us. And it's better to fight as a small group within the Prime Hand's ruins. Descendants don't have to shoulder the entire burden. If things go south, I want you to give up the Ironheart and retreat immediately. <laughs> we can't just end the show when we keep attracting such huge audiences. We'll try to buy as much time as possible. Over and out! Luna! This won't do. If we're done with resupply and repairs, all units move to the location of the converter. We're running out of time on both fronts. We have to hurry. Got it. Let me tack on one more arm component before we go. Do you want like an ice cube or something to snack on? Ugh, let's just get going. Can I trust you'll be victorious? All units, I have your missions for this operation. As you know, our goal is to locate the Inversion Furnace. However, there's something you need to know. The defense commander of this fortress is called Kulan. Kulan is known to have single-handedly defeated multiple colossi. In other words, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them by himself. Lepic, you and I will protect the team from Kulan. We have to block main routes and secure favorable terrain before he appears. The rest of you, help the guide search for the inversion furnace. Guide, do you have any intel that might be useful? I'm sorry. I detect a high concentration of inverted energy in this area. But I am still finding it difficult to identify the exact source from this proximity. Don't worry. Sometimes things can become more clouded the closer you get to them. It was like that for me with Aisha. Whenever you go into the void to look for her, I'll help you. I'll hold you to that. Descendant, for some reason I'm picking up traces of colossi void energy. Here. Investigating this location will help us gather more intel. I understand it is heavily guarded. But I need you to take me there. My shield is down!
Those are colossi remains. Descendant. Corrosive fluid from the Colossus has damaged the control panel, and I can't connect to it. We'll need to destroy the panel and bypass it via the emergency control device. This facility used to be an auxiliary of the furnace, which was built to melt colossi remains. It included a process that made it easier to remove and melt parts such as equipped weapons, round loaders, and battle suits. I don't know why they were melting colossi. I'll check the core facility. Colossi remains were transported beyond that partition. The furnace used to melt Colossi remains must be their descendant. We're detecting an enormous number of Volca signals from the direction of the main gate. There's another way in. Let's go that way to get closer. It's a 
side path, but the entire facility is crawling with defense forces. It'll be close to impossible to avoid combat, so be careful. There's a facility control terminal nearby. If you connect me to it, I can search for more information. Vulgus were melting colossi remains to make highly enriched energy material. Heating the iron hearts using energy containing this much entropy would be more than enough to turn them into antimatter. So this is the truth behind inverted energy. Can we use it for the inversion process, Guide? No. This facility only melts colossi remains. Heating the iron heart with the results of that process happens elsewhere. Perhaps at the inversion furnace. It must be physically connected to this place. I'll scan for intel in the control terminal. seem to be flowing towards a location nearby. Let me check the blueprints. Descendant, the Vulgus are overloading the furnace. At this rate, the whole facility will be destroyed. We need this place to carry out the inversion process. We have to destroy some of the nuclear reactors to lower the output. Find the ones with the fuses. Loading. 
The power output has been reduced, but not enough, Descendant. The furnace's temperature is still outside the normal range. We need to lower the output even further.
furnace temperature stabilize. We should seal off the system to maintain the current output. It's done, Descendant. I've taken over the facility permissions. Now I can control it as I like. But if our enemy manages to destroy this facility, it won't make any difference that I've assumed control of the system. We must completely eliminate the Vulgus forces. Powerful enemy is headed your way. I should have taken care of it, but... of the inversion furnace. The facility is in the basement of Fortress Command. I have detected colossi remains that have been melted by the furnace flowing in that direction. 
but our enemies have already established a line of defense between here and the command facility. The commander of this fortress must be waiting for us. Descendant, do you think we can break through this bogus defense line with the forces we have? I regret pushing you into a corner, but I believe this is the only way. We'll be fine, guide. Right now, we have no choice but to get it done. All units, converge upon the point of attack at the fortress's defense line. Maintain your position there, ready for our final operation. It's time for the operation. It's finally come to this. The success of our entire operation depends on this fight. I feel like I did on the day of my first lecture. Nervous. Still, the situation is actually better than that day. It looks like there was a battle that took place when the Colossi appeared, drawn to the inverted energy. The fortress defense system was destroyed, and the key base for the fortress defense forces fell apart. That means, in our current state, we have a good chance of winning. I'm talking too much. All units commence operation to break through the Volgus defense line. You need to destroy the Volgus in front of us and push forward to Fortress Command, where the inversion furnace is. Any questions? <laughs> What's there to ask? Let's just go! Great. Let's move. Descendant, the Volgus forces are deleting confidential data at the destroyed base. After viewing the cache, I see it was some kind of blueprint. As they were desperate to destroy it, I believe it must be related to their fortress command. Receiving more data. 
I'll analyze it, Descendant. Volgus is remotely blocking the data transmission. You must eliminate them, so I can receive the blueprint data. Data received. Now I can accurately determine a route to the inversion furnace. Damn it! The Volgus built an IED with the Colossi remains. But they wouldn't survive the blast from this either. Are they out of their minds? You can stop it from detonating by destroying the trigger. Loading. Send the locations of the other Colossi remains to your receive.
more to go. You can do it. Looks like someone on their side thinks just like me. You said it. IED. Now, we need to infiltrate the center of the fortress and secure a path to the inversion furnace. Lepic, Viesa, I want you to attack at the other location. Your goal is to break up their defense forces. I'll seal off the entrance so that the rest of you can infiltrate the facility. From now on, no one goes in or out of this place. This is Lord Trenel. How dare you step foot here? Rally all our forces and have them converge in the fortress. I'll follow after resupply. Stop their advance until I return. Is that him? The Vulgus commander who apparently single-handedly defeated several colossi? If he makes it through, we won't be able to reach the inversion furnace in time. We'd better finish him here then. Lepic, Viesa, meet here once you're done. While the other team work on destroying the iron heart of the inversion furnace, we're going to stop the Vulgus from entering the fortress. Roger that. The 44th Grenadiers are great at operations like this. We can buy some time by freezing the entrance. Leave that to me.
shield. in the furnace, and the inversion furnace is ready to be activated. We are also ready to retrieve the iron heart that was submerged in Arcade. We are waiting on you now, Descendant. We only have one chance to activate the furnace and crush the iron heart. I believe we can do this. We will destroy the iron heart together. Descendant, I'll operate the furnace and start the inversion furnace sequence. Follow the directions laid out in your receive and get to the furnace. The Vulgus forces will come after you, but there's no time to lose. You must move quickly. Guide, I've heard that the inversion process releases an enormous amount of energy. Can you guarantee that the units that enter will be safe without my barrier? If we can escape while the Iron Heart is still in the inversion furnace, the descendants will not be exposed to the energy. Our biggest problem is the Vulgus commander needing the fortress defense. If they appear, they will delay everything, lowering our chance of success. Leave that to us. I'll blow them up no matter how strong they are. Thank you. 
operating the furnace. Do they know about the inversion furnace? They must believe they can destroy the fortress by overloading it. Add futile. Close the partition and stop their advance. Once I've resupplied, I will hunt them down myself. The Vulgus are stalling. We can open the partition by disconnecting the power. Fortunately, they are unaware of our true goal. They believe that we are only here to destroy the fortress. However, if Jaber's jamming signal is disrupted, they will discover everything. We must complete the operation before that happens. Communications with Master Corel not be restored yet. There is no response from Agios either. However, Master Corel doesn't need to know why the scum are headed to the inversion furnace. A dead descendant says nothing. Send our forces to the Ironheart Lab. We will fight the descendants there. This is your opportunity to distinguish yourselves in battle. Eliminate the vermin. Loading. 
Inversion forces. Destroy the Inversion Furnaces control system. I don't want to meddle with Master Krell's accomplishment. But Aemon can rebuild it. You vermin will not have it your way. Descendant, it's too late. The enemy is fighting back. If they destroy the control system, I cannot continue the Inversion process. We must stop them. Descendant, I've located the core facility necessary to activate the furnace. I'll try to gain control of it. Then we can be sure that the inversion operation remains viable. Loading. 
Guide, have you stopped the enemy from destroying the system? I have accessed the core facility and am installing the system. Once I have completed this, I will be able to activate the immersion furnace. But... But? The automation system has been damaged by the enemy. In order to finish the inversion process, I must operate the furnace system manually. I'm loading. Wait. I'm coming now. I'll take care of it. Ajax, you're not thinking straight. We can't hold the defense line without you. If it falls, we'll all fall to the Volgas. Damn it. Descendant. What do you think? Descendant? I inform everyone that we will proceed with the operation. What do you mean? You're going ahead with the operation? She has a point. We've come too far to give up. We have to protect the defense line. If we fall here, it'll be all over for the guys at the furnace. We'll really have to steal ourselves for this. That is the inversion furnace. When you are ready, I'll remove the iron heart from the arcane. I will be with you until the end, descendant. Inversion sequence activated. Initiating iron heart overload. Descendant, as we overload and destroy the iron heart, you will experience anomalous events in the area around the furnace. It seems this energy is very similar to void erosion. Be careful. Getting close to it can be dangerous. But you cannot place yourself too far from the furnace either. I need a descendant's RK to control the furnace system. Under these vermin of an iron heart, I'm an inverted iron heart, no less. All units, stop the immersion furnace. Master Corral must be informed. Restore communications immediately. Iron Heart Mass Reduction. 30%. The heart is overloading. It's getting more intense. Void erosion is also increasing. Be careful. <sighs> the defense line is collapsing. More Volga's forces are heading to the furnace. They have enough to worry about over there. Loading. We have to step it up. Reduction, 60%. Descendant, watch out for the falling fragments of the anti-materialized Ironheart. Oh. They are inverting the inverted Ironheart. Are they trying to destroy it? I'm loading. So that's what they were intending all along. Hector. Not on my watch. Damn it! The defense commander has broken through the line. 
He's heading your way. Lepic, cover me. I need to help Ajax. Don't... Don't worry about me. Go help. At the furnace. My shield is down. To this heat? Yes. I was made for this place. What guy? I will protect Master Pharrell's accomplishment. I will go to clip off. Descend. The Vulgus has activated an emergency shutdown of the inversion furnace. We cannot complete the overloading sequence until we remove this final safety measure. Defeat the Vulgus and deactivate the final safety measure.
but I can't locate the descendant signal. Descendant, please respond. Descendant. Descendant, can you hear me? The Iron Heart has been destroyed. Thank you for believing in me. Now no one can alter the balance of Ingress. However, Ingress still needs you. Arcade signal detected in the Void Dimension. This signature is... It is the Descendants Arcade. Seneca, confirm the coordinates. Engaging emergency transmitter. Initiating transmission. Descendant life sign detected. I repeat, Descendant life sign detected. Ironheart destruction confirmed. The operation is a success. <laughs> wow! We won! I knew we'd be able to do it. This is definitely one for the books. It'll be perfect for history lectures. The Vulgus are retreating here too! <sighs> I really thought we were goners for a minute. It's a shame that the Ironheart we used as bait couldn't be saved. Hey! We survived! That's more than enough. Thank heavens, Descendant. You're okay. I thought we had lost you. Your chance of survival was close to zero percent. I think the destruction of the Ironheart forced a connection to the Void. That's why you were sucked into Void space. Anyway, I'm very relieved that I'm able to personally deliver this incredible news to you. The operation to destroy the Ironheart was a success. The Volgus forces at each front are retreating. The fact that they've ceased attacking suggests that Corel must have lost a significant strategic target. After being outmatched at every turn, humankind has finally turned the tide in this war. I'm compiling all operation reports, including for the situation at the White Knight Gulch. All descendants that were dispatched there are reported to be fine. Alpha will explain in more detail. Please return to HQ. Oh, just a moment. Speaking as myself, and not as an executive officer of HQ, I'd like to personally thank every descendant. Especially you. You destroyed the Ironheart and prevented an unimaginable crisis. We're all in your debt. Thank you, descendant. For everything. Standing by for Operation D. Descendants who have returned to Albion, report to HQ. Good job, Eugen. You too, Captain. Blair, you'll cook something for us when we get back, won't you? Of course! We're gonna empty the food stores. Good job, everyone. No. Good job doesn't do it justice. The future of the entire human race depended on this operation and humankind came together to pull it off. Now, Corel and the Vulgus are retreating. Corel discovered that we had taken the inverted Ironheart and tried to come after us. But he was too late. By then, the heart had already been destroyed. We've achieved this major victory due to your actions, Descendant. I'm very glad that we have all of you and the Guide still with us. However, Corel took the Iron Heart we used as bait and disappeared without a trace. We're currently using all of our recon assets to search for Corel's flagship, but we do not know what the outcome will be. We have to remember that this war is not over yet. Corel still has two Iron Hearts. He's probably plotting something even more dangerous as we speak. And there are still Vulgus forces across Ingress. Without a chain of command, they'll be running riot. For now, we're going to focus on our defense at each front and commence an operation to track down Corel's ship and the Iron Hearts. Savor this triumph, everyone. Then let's regroup and keep going. From this moment forward, we aim for total victory. I look forward to working together again soon, Descendant.
You have completed one of the sacred missions of the Ancestor's Descendant. I'm so proud of you. However, there is something I must tell you regarding the destruction of the remaining Ironhearts. Come, Descendant. Many people were willing to sacrifice their lives for the final operation. But your courage was exceptional. You risked your own life and destroyed the Ironheart in my place even though I am merely an AI. If it weren't for you, humankind would no longer be here. But Descendant, there is something I need you to know for the future. As you know, the Magisters wanted the Iron Hearts in exchange for the resources and technology that the Magisters provide for humankind. Because we destroyed an Iron Heart, the Magisters may threaten humanity due to the breach of that agreement. There may be conflicts with the Magisters in the future, and they may even be less forthcoming with their support. But don't forget, every single one of the Ironhearts must be eliminated from Ingress. As long as you remember that, we can withstand anything that comes. Continue to fulfill your calling as a descendant and protect the people you love. I will help humanity. I believe in you, Descendant. Your journey is not over yet. Descendant, I am so glad you're still alive. The hero that saved humankind. I have a favor to request of you. When I located your RK signal in the void, I was very relieved. Losing a descendant such as yourself is like experiencing the apocalypse all over again. I am very pleased to see you again, descendant. However, the energy generated from the destruction of the Ironheart has sent ripples through the deepest recesses of the Void. Unfortunately, this means we're likely to encounter Colossi of a completely different standard in the future. However, I still agree with the decision to destroy the Iron Hearts. If all the Iron Hearts are completely destroyed, the Colossi would become oblivious to the Ingress Dimension. As closing the Dimensional Wall is pointless now, the Iron Hearts must be removed from Ingress. I heard that you have submerged the inverted Iron Heart in your Arche. Can you guarantee that they won't be drawn to that energy, Descendant? But the night is darkest, just before the dawn. If we can journey through this dark tunnel together, the future of Angris will be bright. Until that day comes, I hope you will continue to work with me and fight the Colossi Intercept battles. As always, I put my faith in your strength and determination, Descendant. Descendant, I have heard that humankind has triumphed against Corel. Humans have won many battles over the years, but they continue to lose the war until now. This victory has helped to completely alter my perspective on humanity and descendants. Although you did all destroy the Iron Heart, the Council of Magisters won't easily forget the choice made by Albion Headquarters. And considering that Magisters are of Vulgus origin, the enemy may be closer than you think. But that's only the stance of the Council of Magisters. Some of the Magisters, myself included, will still root for humanity. I want you to remember that I will continue to stand with you all, despite whatever policy is decreed by the Council. It seems as if you'll need many things from me going forward. 